CD-ROM has been around for decades and it was one of the most important storage media during the 90s. It is used in almost every possible way, especially with software that comes only in CD-ROM. So if you are one of those cool kids in town that owns a CD burner, practically you can become a pirate. Well, I mean sharing music. So leaving that aside, it's the year 2021 and I did not expect to receive a CD-ROM and yeah, that actually gave me quite a little bit of hard time to assess all of its contents. And so the story is something like this. My wife is at her final trimester and we went to a sonographer to have a growth scan done. So they have all sorts of crazy technology throw at your face. Uh, conventional 2D scanning? Well, that is so yesterday. They are marketing 3D, 4D, or 5D, whatever dimension they are coming from. Basically, anything that goes beyond 3D is still 3D, just higher resolution. But still, they sell 4D and 5D because 3D and 4D, I mean, 4D and 5D is better than HD 3D. So, <laughs> now, that aside, everything went well at the end of the scan. So we got the CD-ROM uh, copy containing all the videos and screenshots. Now, CD-ROM in 2021, I was a bit reluctant at first. Uh, but since I do have a CD reader at home or CD player, so I thought, well, it should be all right. So I maybe then can just like take it and copy out all the content and save it elsewhere. So here's my first uh, screw up, I would say. I should have trusted my instinct and asked the sonographer if she can save the files into a USB flash drive, but I did not. So when I got home and I tried to fire up my CD reader, well, unsurprisingly, the thing died, just refused to come out. Even if I try to like force it eject with the tray, but it just won't do anything. Uh, it is dead. So it has been unused for many years. At this point, I'm, I'm like thinking maybe it's easier for me to just call a sonographer and ask them to upload the files to the cloud storage. But hey, it won't be fun if I don't explore it further once again, right? I mean, experiencing the sound of the spinning CD-ROM. So the next day, I brought the disc to my office. Since I do have an ancient Acer PC kept in the storeroom for, well, reasons. So it sports a legendary AMD Athlon CPU, so you can pretty much guess the age of this thing. The PC is still able to post without any issue, but the CD reader was not ejecting and worse, it's not detected at all. So opening the chassis reveals that, well, I did remove the 4 pin Molex and IDE cable. So because I believe that time when I upgrade this PC, I just dropped the IDE cable because, well, that time I believe in SATA, so I just changed everything to SATA. So that was a few years back and I already dropped CD-ROM. So when things start to look bleak and hopeless at the time, well, my colleague, Koki, he jumped in to rescue by bringing along his SATA IDE to USB converter. So this thing technically allows you to access the uh, data on your SATA or IDE drive through the USB. So given if you are able to supply the power to the storage device, so we hook it up with a old power supply and jump start it via the hot wire method. By the way, this whole setup is extremely sketchy because the adapter itself is very old and the case has become sticky. So it is, yeah, that's why I don't like this kind of soft touch coating material. Nonetheless, the adapter works and the PC is able to detect the CD reader. Unfortunately, the tray was stuck and yes, we did try to like poke the eject hole, but it, it just won't move. I believe some part of it just get caught up in the plastic and everything. So we basically just destroy the front plastic cover and yeah, that did the trick and we basically can free up the tray and then load the CD into it. Now the million dollar questions, are we able to extract all the data in the CD room here? Unfortunately, the answer is no. 
Sadly, the CD reader itself was not able to read anything out of the disc. And really, probably because of the uh, rotor inside the CD room has failed all this year. So at this point, uh, really some of you might be questioning the rationale behind our decision, like trying all those weird ways on this old stuff. Now, honestly, I can simply just bring this CD to any PC shops or anyone to help. You see, it is for the sake of the exploration to look for the, well, maybe perhaps for the sense of fulfillment when your contraption actually works. So, so by the way, uh, at the same time, if we can actually make a video of uh, how we, I mean, the journey to find out this it actually works. So it should be working well for YouTube and make some ads money out of there. So nonetheless, at the end, I do want to let you guys know, we, I, I did manage to read the CD room uh, thanks to a friend who helped me to read. He got a working CD room, right? So uh, the point is, at the year of 2021, I really don't see any reason for businesses to offer uh, CD room for their customers. A USB drive is still a better option. Consider that you can just get a cheap USB drive, 4 gigabytes for cheap, and you can just provide it for your customer. If not, you can always use cloud storage, and I believe that one is a much preferred way because right now customers, they are using mobile phones more frequently. So yeah, that pretty much uh, sums up our CD project fail project. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.